Good morning. Let's do our calendar time. Our month is still September. Let's clap it out. September. Whisper it. September. Shout it. September. You can opera sing it if you want. September. All right. September. The second. We're going to put second right there. So September 2nd. Our day of the week is Wednesday. So let's put Wednesday in our day of the week box. There it is. Day of the week, Wednesday. All right, moving on to our next slide. So today's date, you have to help me with it. It starts with a capital S because it's a name of a month. So I'll start with a capital. So capital S E. Excuse, excuse me. Capital. <laughs> Excuse me. Gosh, there was another one. Okay. There you go. There's some good manners. Always say excuse me after you sneeze. We'll just use that as part of our lesson. Let me start this over. Today's date, September, capital S, the name of the month. E, you know what comes next. You tell me. You tell me as I'm typing it. P, T, E, M, B, E, R. Did you say it with me? Good job. Okay, so what's our day? You're right. It's the second. Now we put a, do you remember what we put? Yes, we put a comma. And our year is still 2020. And we know what day it is because we just did that too. Our day of the week is Wednesday. You spell it with me. It's a really long one. W-E-D-N-E-S-D-A-Y. Wednesday. Someday, I will tell you the history of the day Wednesday. Yesterday was what? You're right, Tuesday. Capital T, U, E, S, whoa, not a J, S, D, A, Y, Tuesday. All right, and the moment you have all been waiting for, today's student of the day is Mr. Payton. So we're gonna do some fireworks for Mr. Payton. Are we ready? Here's Payton's fireworks today. Be ready. Maybe they'll play. Maybe. Uh -huh. Yay, Peter! Yay! We're gonna make him big. He gets fireworks. He's the student of the day. We'll let it play for a Okay. Good job, Hayden. Okay. Our last one for today. Our number of the day, I'm fixing it because that was yesterday's number of the day. I forgot to erase it, so we're going to get rid of it. Okay, our number of the day for today is going to be 42. 42. All right. We're going to put a, we're going to put a 46 in this box. We're going to put a. 42 in that box. We're going to make it really close. All right, so we need to answer the question. Is 42 odd or is it even? Well, remember how you find even numbers. So we're going to do our odd numbers first. One is odd, super odd. Three is odd. Five is odd. Seven is odd. Nine is odd. 11 is very odd. 13, really odd. 15 odd. 17 odd. 19 odd. Remember our pattern. Math is nothing but patterns. So remember, anything that ends with a 1, a 3, a 5, a 7, or a 9 is odd. See, and you can see the pattern repeat itself. 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. Now look over here. 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. Try it again. 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. Over here. 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. All odd numbers. So make our even numbers pink. Zero, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty. Let's look at our pattern for even numbers. Zero, two, four, six, eight. Now look, it just keeps going. Zero, two, four, six, eight. <gasps> Zero, and so the next one would be two, four, six, eight. So it'd be Instead of two zero, it'd be two two, which is twenty two, twenty four, twenty six, twenty eight. 
So even though we do not see 42 on our number line, using that, we can figure out if it is odd or if it is even. We're going to look at what it ends with. What does it end with? A 2. Look on our number scale. 0, 2, 4, 6, 8. And anything that ends with it is even. Is 2 an even number? I hope you're shaking your heads yes at home because it is, which means 42 is even. Good job. Good job, guys. Good job. All right. How many, if we were building a city, how many towers of 10 could we build? You're exactly right. We could build four. So it has four tens. If you were building a city, how many little houses could you build? You're exactly right. Two. So it has two ones. Four tens and two ones. All right. We got to get our green alligator mouth going. Who is bigger? 46 or 42? If you said 46, you're right. Because I would rather have 46 Reese's peanut butter cups than 42. Although I don't think my dentist or my doctor would like for me to have 46 Reese's peanut butter cups. And I'd probably get the biggest stomach ache on the planet. But still, 46. You could eat them a little at a time, right? So we're going to make our alligator mouth open and ready to swallow up 46. I quit putting teeth on him because right now you guys know. Okay. I'm going to pick me a new color. Let's do purple. I'm feeling like purple. All right, what comes before 42? You got it, 40, a 1. So what comes after 42? You got it, 40, 3. Awesome. Okay, let's put our 42 in the box. Here he is, 42 in the box. So if you look on your number charts at home, 10 less than 42 is 32. 10 more than 42 is 52. Tomorrow I'm going to put up just a 100 chart and I'm going to show you all the patterns it takes to figure this out. Because remember, math is nothing but patterns. What comes before 42? 41. What comes after 42? You said 43. You people are right. All right, so there we go. I hope you enjoyed your calendar time and I hope you have an awesome day. I will see you in writing. Bye. Shh. <sniffs>